time for Nerdgasm. I've been getting a lot of people asking me how I do the multiple camera angles in my videos, where I just start talking and then I turn and I go, hey, what's up? There's another camera right there. And then, hey, sometimes I might even have a third camera that I can just move around and it all just seamlessly comes together. And you probably think it's a lot of work, but it actually isn't. As you can see, I just have one camera hooked up there recording. And then we pan across the room. I have another camera right there recording, the camera I'm holding, and none of these cameras are connected to each other. The thing that I'm linking them all together with is the sound. The one thing that all of these cameras have in common is that they all have a microphone. Now the microphone in these cameras might suck and it might not be the audio that you wanna use for your video. So I can even use something like this, which is a Zoom H6n audio recorder, and I can record the audio on that. What you're hearing right now is the audio actually off this audio recorder. Now, at first when I started doing this stuff, I did it the hard way where I drag it into Adobe Premiere and I would try to line up all of the clips based on the audio histogram, basically taking the little, little points and matching them up. But it is a lot of tedious work, especially if you have a ton of different clips. And it just so happens that Adobe Premiere can do this all for you automatically. So guys, sit back and let Barnacles show you how it's done. All right, so now I've repositioned my cameras for scene two. You can see I have this one pointing at me from the side. I have this one looking over my shoulder so that you can see what I'm doing. But I also want you guys to be able to see the screen at the same time. So I've got camera three right here that's recording. And you can see up on my top monitor, I have OBS Studio running. In OBS, you can see the microphone is recording audio right there. And that audio is coming from that mic, which I'm not using for the audio in this video. I'm actually just using it to sync all the cameras together. Remember the rule. Every camera that's recording has to have an audio track and it has to be able to hear the same things that the other cameras can to sync them all together. So I'm just gonna go up here in OBS and say start recording. And there is my Zoom recording right there on the table. But right now I'm recording using a lav mic that's on my chest that's wirelessly connected to that camera right there. So I have camera one, camera two, camera three, and screen recording all synced together by audio. Now remember, none of these are physically connected together. So now we're gonna take the footage that we recorded in the first half of this video, and I'm gonna show you guys how to edit together and how that works in Adobe Premiere. Okay, so now that we have all the files copied over to the computer from that first sequence, we're gonna go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere. I'm using the latest version of Premiere Pro CC, which is Creative Cloud. I also would like to say that this video is in no way sponsored. I'm not affiliated with Adobe. Adobe doesn't pay me. Nobody really pays me for these videos. I get product samples sometimes to review, but I do not do paid reviews. It seems like lately in the comments, a lot of people have been saying or implying that I'm doing paid reviews just because the quality of my videos increased. No, the quality of my videos increased because I learned things like this and now I'm teaching it to you. All right, so let's start off by creating a new project. And for the new project, let's go ahead and go find a folder. So we'll select that folder and then we're gonna give the project name, It'd be like multi-cam editing tutorial. All right, now if you've ever opened up Adobe Premiere before, this probably looks familiar to you. All right, so now that we have the project open, we're gonna open up our folder and we're gonna select the files that should sync together, which is camera one, camera two, camera three, and of course the audio track. And all I'm doing is holding down the control key and clicking to select them all. Now once they're selected, I'm gonna grab them and drag them down to the project panel. Now this is where it gets really easy, guys. All you do is select everything right there that we just imported, or if you have more stuff in that folder, go ahead and just select the stuff that's pertinent. Right click on it and scroll down through the menu until you see create multicam source sequence right here. Now there's a lot of ways to create a multicam sequence. By default, it uses the audio track. That's the one that we're most interested in because it's using the audio from the cameras to synchronize them. Now, if you have more sophisticated and expensive broadcast quality equipment, you can sync based on time codes. But for this purpose, we're using the audio because that's simple and every one of these cameras, including your cell phone, has a microphone, so it will work with this. All right, so all you do is click OK. Now it's going through and analyzing all of those clips and creating one multicam clip, which you can see right here now. So now watch what happens when I drag the multicam clip over to the timeline. It just looks like any regular other clip, but we only see one of the cameras, right? Now, the trick is we wanna get everything lined up properly in the multicam sequence and fix all the colors and all the little stuff before we edit it in the main timeline. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down the Control and Windows key, and then you're gonna double click that multicam sequence. Now what this does, is it opens up that multicam sequence in the timeline and shows you all of the individual cameras. So now I can come in here and I can, I can hide camera one, I can hide camera two, and now you can see I can flip through each one of the cameras. Like there's one of the cameras, there's one of the cameras, and now I can see them all. Now the first problem I see here is look how zoomed in it looks. It's because it thinks it's 1080p, but the video that I shot was in 4K, but not on all the cameras, only two of the cameras 
we're 4K. So what I need to do is upscale this whole thing to 4K. So I'm gonna go up to sequence up here. I'm gonna go to sequence settings and I'm gonna just come down and say, I just want this to be 4K. So let's go find one of the 4K settings. I really don't care which. So let's do red cinema, 29.97, and we're gonna do 3840 by 2160, okay? Now you can see the cameras look better. So when I disable that camera, the other camera, see they look full frame like they're supposed to. But the problem is now is camera three looks too small. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take camera three and I'm gonna scale it up 200%. So now that it's 4K also. So that one's gonna be upscaled because that camera unfortunately didn't support 4K because it's just this little Sony RX100 M3 that I use for just carrying around and taking quick videos. I quite like it. So now they're all scaled properly. So now what we wanna do is correct the color on them so they all look good. So let's find a frame that looks okay here where I'm looking at the camera. Okay, so that's a good one right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna go over here to the, the Lumetri color panel over here. And I'm just gonna click the auto button and I will do a video on color correction. If you guys like this series, let me know and I will do more and more of these videos. But I'm just gonna do a basic auto color correction. And then I'm gonna hide that by clicking the little eye and then it'll move to the next camera. And then I'm gonna click auto on that one. And now if you look at them, they're much more vibrant. So, and that's why the videos look so good. A lot of people just upload the video straight from their cameras. Trust me, there's not a lot of cameras where the video just looks good right off the camera. All right, so now all of our cameras are adjusted for color. So now what we're gonna do is go back to the original sequence up here where we just drug it in the timeline. You can see that it's just one video track and one audio track. You see this? And it's still stuck on that first crappy camera. So what we wanna do it first is let's go ahead and just trim this down. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the C key to get the trimming tool and then click it. So let's trim that and delete it from the timeline. So now we got the original video here. All right, so now if you listen to the audio. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles. Today I'm gonna show you guys- You can still, it's way too zoomed in. The audio sucks. It's, it, it's, it's not good, right? So we need to go back and fix the audio. So we're gonna go back again, and you can see that there's four audio tracks here, guys. So if I pull this down, there's four individual audio tracks. Now, one of these is gonna sound really good, and the rest of them are gonna sound terrible. So, let's, so we know that one sounds terrible. So let's mute it. Let's unmute the next one. Today I'm gonna show you guys that sounds better, still like crap, though. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good. So now we know that the audio track number three was my best audio track, which is the lav mic that I'm wearing. I, I can tell just by how it sounds. Okay, so now we wanna go back to our primary track and we need to fix the sequence here too because just like we did on the other one, the sequence is set for the wrong setting. So we're just gonna go down here, select red cinema. I'm gonna tell it's 29.97 frames per second and the resolution's 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. Okay, so now we have our multicam sequence created. Once it's created, editing is awesome. So now to edit it, all we have to do is come up here and click this little wrench and go down to multi-camera. And you can see multi-camera now has this little box beside the video here. Now watch what happens when I move it to a place where all the cameras are running. Lo and behold, you see we have camera three, camera one, and camera two. And I can switch between them by clicking on them. Or more importantly, I can switch between them by pressing one, two or three on the numeric pad. And that is what makes the editing really fast. Now watch this. All I have to do is hit the space bar to start playing. Hey, what's up guys? You're here, AKA and now I can switch the camera angles by pushing one, two, and three. So let's say I want to see camera two. Push number three. See? And there's another camera. And then I can push another button. And then I pick up the little camera. I can push that. Now I've got that camera. See how they're all perfectly synchronized together? See that? Now watch, I'm gonna hit space bar and stop. Now notice how I put a bunch of jump cuts in there. Can you guys see that? All of those jump cuts now are our camera angles. So if I go back and hit play, it'll automatically do it. See, now watch, it'll get to the next camera and it switches again and it switches again. So you can literally just play through the video and push the button of the camera that you want out of that sequence. So it's kind of like doing one of those live broadcasts where you're switching between the cameras and it makes it so easy. But there's some other ways you can do it also. The way I prefer to do it is I actually turn off multicam editing mode and I go into composite video mode. And then what I do so that I have more control is I do the jump cuts myself and then switch the camera for the cut using the number pad, watch. Now notice I turn to look at the other camera. You see that? Now watch, as I do the transition, I can pick it perfectly. See, right as my eyes lock with that camera, I'm gonna go ahead and put a jump cut there. So I hit C and I put a cut. Now I select the new cut. Now I'm gonna select the camera that I want just by pushing the keypad. So that's the one I'm looking at. So that's the one I want. So now I'll continue on. There's another camera right there. And then hey, sometimes I might even have. 
Now see, there's some dead space here, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that while I pick up the new camera. So I'm just gonna cut that out, and then I'm gonna put this on that camera. Now watch the transitions. And then I turn and I go, hey, what's up? There's another camera right there. And then, hey, sometimes I might even have a third camera that I can just move around, and it all just seamlessly comes together. You probably think it's a lot of work, but it actually isn't. All right, so do you guys see how that works? I basically just pick the sequence, hit the number of the camera I want the sequence to pull from, and it automatically does all the heavy lifting. Now, once you get really proficient at this, you can drag your entire media library and all your clips from scene one, scene two, scene three, it'll automatically lay them all out by their timestamps and their audio, and you will have one continuous timeline that you can just kick back and edit to your heart's content. The other thing I like about this is if you go back and you wanna change a camera angle, like let's say we go back here where I'm talking to this camera. Let's say in the middle, I just want to do a random jump to camera one. I'm just going to create a cut here and a create, create a cut there. So now I have a new clip. Now what I'm going to do is just push one or three. Now I'm back to this camera. Now watch if I go back and play it. Now it'll do a switch back to that camera and then back again. So the end result is awesome because now you can take all the cameras that you have in your house, your cell phones, your GoPros, everything, stick them everywhere, record all these camera angles, then you drag them into that multicam sequence and when you're editing, you can create something that's real special without needing a whole camera crew constantly moving around with the camera. And another thing I like about it is when your eyes wander, to another camera, you can just edit to it and it kind of gives the perception that you're talking to more than one person. When you're going back and forth, you're like addressing the cameras independently. You can also have one camera looking down at a table It's something as a close up. So this memory card, for instance, I can talk to you guys and I can go down and put it in front of the camera and give you a close up without having to shoot a B-roll shot like most people would have to do if they only had one camera. Now, I personally prefer this style because it gives me a lot of freedom to edit however I want and I can actually realize my vision and it's not a ton of extra work because again, I can just use the numeric keypad to switch between the cameras, which is very nice. And I can use multiple audio sources. I can also go into the deep editing on that multicam sequence and I have the option to go in and select and move audio tracks around and clip things inside of that to fine tune stuff. And then I can apply filters and stuff on top of that in the track above it and you build on that. But the nice thing about this is it allows you to just drag all your media into the folder, right click, create that multicam sequence. And as long as all of the cameras were able to hear the same audio and the same cues, they're all gonna sync up perfectly. Even if the cameras didn't start and stop at the same time, you could have one camera record 10 clips and the primary camera record one clip and it will still line it all up as long as it can lock onto the audio signature. And in the end, you get a much more professional product and it really didn't take you any more time than if you were editing just a single clip. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please take a moment and give it a like. Also consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of technology reviews, tutorials, 3D printing, pretty much anything nerdy I'm doing something with. And I really enjoy doing these educational videos for you guys. And as long as they're popular enough, I will keep doing them. So if you want this to continue, please share this with your friends and family and other aspiring YouTubers that wanna learn how to do Adobe Premiere. And I also plan to do tutorials on other things like Visual Studio for the Codegasm series and also some of the fundamentals of the operating system. Since I am a 15 year senior software developer of Microsoft, I know my way around the operating system and I could probably show you guys a thing or two. So guys, thank you again once for watching this video and supporting what I do. This is my full time job and I couldn't do it without the viewers like you. And I really hope that you guys put these skills to the test and be sure and send me your links to your videos that you do multicam editing over on Twitter. I am at Barnacles, and please share it and pay it forward because everybody can do cool stuff like this. It's not hard to do. You just have to know how to do it. Say bye-bye camera one. Say bye-bye camera two. Peace out internet.